All right, Job chapter 26, let's call this one Chipping Away No More Weebles, as in the old school toys that uh, had the famous line, Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down, which may give us an indication of how resilient Job is once again. In this chapter where he seems again to start out with a little bit of sarcasm when he says how you have helped, saved, and counseled those in need before going on to say something we mentioned in the last chapter uh, that indicates that their responses, or at least part of Bildad's response, isn't all that original when he says something akin to, who helped you come up with that? Before going into his own extended praise of God in which he says, look, the depths of the earth, that which lies beneath the earth, is essentially laid bare to God. He stretches the north over the void and hangs the earth on nothing. He binds, covers, and spreads various things on the earth. And more than that, the pillars of heaven tremble at his rebuke. By his power, his understanding, his wind, and his hand, all sorts of other great things are accomplished. But these are simply the outskirts of his ability and the things that he actually does. And in doing that, Job reminded me once again of the way in which he responded to Eliphaz's allegation that Job had ignored the poor and that was why he was in his condition. The way in which Job simply responded by giving a more insightful discourse on the poor than Eliphaz or any of the other friends seem to. This time he seems to be giving just as insightful a discourse on all of God's abilities as any of the three friends have done to this point as well. Understanding the way in which Job may be helping us to see how just about anyone can praise God, but not everyone is willing to actually follow God. Thus the title Weebles and the old ad that Weebles wobble but they don't fall down reminded me of that verse we have already quoted from Proverbs 24 16 which says a righteous person may fall seven times but he gets up again which also reminded me of Paul's encouragement to the believers in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 around about verse 16 where he says so we do not lose heart though our outer self is wasting away our inner self is being renewed day by day literally reminding me of what Job is doing as he is not only contending with his three friends but the loss of his stuff, his kids, and his health as he continues to believe that God can help him out no matter how battered he is by life and no matter how confused he is by it all. Helping me to remember, I don't just see that in Job and I don't just see that in the words of Paul, but I am encouraged to the degree that I see people in my life who remind me that no matter how difficult their situation might get, much like Job and those weebles, they might wobble, but they don't fall down because they know that God is still willing to help them too. And so it bears repeating that the strength in Job's waiting was the fact that he was willing to wait in his integrity so that when God got there to answer Job's pleas for help, God was encouraged to not only give Job justice and vindication from the ways in which he had been done wrong, but he was willing to give Job mercy for the mistakes that he made while he waited.